Alternate criteria for MA in music or any other degree that increases likelihood of getting orchestras play my works. Greetings Music Stack Exchange. I put my intention first. I'm in high school. You might need this information to understand why I'm asking this question. Colon. I wish to work with orchestras and hopefully get them to play my compositions, but doing a BA in music is highly improbable. I read up related topics in MSE BA with no prior musical education. Is MA, PhD necessary at all? And how composers get their work performed? I realize that orchestras are really really big time and having an MA will not necessarily mean that orchestra will play my work, but still. Without BA in music, is it possible to pursue MA in music? And continue with other music stuff. I will either be doing physics for B or major computer science and minor physics. 1. What are the course credits required for MA if I can take them as electives? 2. Or is knowledge in areas covered in BA and completing prerequisites unofficially enough? 3. Will Trinity diplomas like the FMUSTCL suffice? 4. Are there online courses for this purpose and will these be considered when applying for MA in music? If all of these are valid options, I'd prefer going with 3. Mostly in taking 2. In the side 2, because I can't be sure if the required courses will be there as electives in the universities I might be going for. I understand that the answer might vary from university to university, but I seek a general answer. Or, if not MA, is there anything else that serves the purpose? I'm Trinity grade 5 in theory and 2 in piano now and have IGCSEO level in music for which I did guitar, composition, and theory component consisted of not so deep, hardly analysis analysis of Mendelssohn fifth and overview of Latin American music just in case these might shape the answer. At least in the U.S., I can clarify that many schools, including conservatories, do allow master's students that do not have bachelor's degrees in music. I've had master's students whose bachelor's were in nursing, business, and even law. They tend to have a more difficult time navigating their master's coursework since so much of the material is so new to them, but they have all gone on to do really great things in the musical world. But ultimately, such a determination is up to the university itself. You would need to look into the schools you would consider for the master's to see if they would be interested. Typically you will have to take an entrance exam of some kind to show that you can be successful in a musical program. Often there is both a theory exam and a music history exam to test your abilities, and in many schools doing poorly on these exams will remove you from consideration. And these exams are both in addition to the specifics of a program, an audition for performers, or a score submission, and perhaps analytic writing for composers. But like most things in music, it's not a piece of paper that matters, it's your skill. If you're good enough to get accepted into a master's program in music, not having a sheet of paper, the bachelor's degree in music, typically won't hurt. Which ultimately brings me to my next point, orchestras don't really care what your pieces of paper are, they just care about how good your music is. So don't think of the masters as an entry point into having orchestras perform your pieces. Instead, think of a degree program as an entry point into learning how the world of music works and how to network within that system. Dot. As Carl says, there are countless composers out there, and they're writing new pieces every day. Their pieces are performed because they've been working their way up the system, studying with famous composers, having their pieces performed by smaller ensembles, typically good ensembles at famous music schools, submitting their works and winning composition contests, slowly building a studio and a reputation of their own, which may demand a doctorate if you're teaching at a university, and landing commissions. With that in mind, my suggestion is to be as active as you can right now, so as to try and build a successful future as a composer.